Have you ever noticed when you're listening to someone that's talking about something they really, really love, their face lights up, they get really excited, and you can't wait to be part of the conversation? Then you'll come across other people that have a lot of experience in what they're doing, they've been doing it for a long, long time, but they're still coming across a little bit flat. The difference I've noticed is that people that absolutely love what they do can't help but share that with people. You can barely stop them talking about it when you ask them the questions and they just can't wait to share more and more and more of what they have to say. Then if you're not really totally in love with what you're doing, it can be a real chore. When you have to tell people about what you do, when you have to create new content and new programs um, and start marketing that kind of business, then it's a real struggle. What I'm going to take you through today are my little insights, I guess, into what I call heart set marketing. So it's that um, understanding that you really have to be in love with what you're doing to then market that authentically to your audience because you don't want to come across as one of those um, really flat people. You want to excite people. You want to share the information that you have. Now, I've been doing a lot of discovery on myself and my business um, over the last 12 months, but I've been paying really close attention to the different things that I do that get me really, really excited. I've been paying really close attention to the books that I'm drawn to, the articles they want to read, uh, what I want to talk to about people. And there's been a bit of a shift to where I thought my business was going initially. So it's really important for me to follow that, um, that feeling and follow that sense of this is what I want to do. There is no point me sitting here marketing a business that I don't truly believe in. And I think that's really important for you as well. Take the time to sit down, or actually take the time to step back away from your business and figure out if you're still in love with it. Take the time to have a look at the work that you're doing, the clients that you're working with, and the message that you're putting out there, and make sure it is wholly and solely and totally aligned with who you really are. Now this can be a bit scary because sometimes you'll find that what you think you want to be doing isn't actually what you want to be doing. Now I'm not trying to freak you out. It doesn't mean you have to close everything down and start again. It just means there might be a bit of a shift that needs to happen or a bit of a little pivot here and there. Um, my business is going to be changing very, very shortly. Um, and again, it's not a total shutdown and restart. It is more just putting more of what I want to be talking about in and taking some of the other stuff that doesn't really light me up that much, just taking that out. So your homework today is to step away, take some time, and really assess what it is you're currently doing. Really assess how that makes you feel when you're trying to market that. Um, and then give yourself permission to make some changes if need be. Give yourself permission to ask for help, to bounce ideas off someone, to test something out. You might think that you want to go in a certain direction, but then you might go and try that and realize that actually, no, that's not really what you want to do. Um, so I wish you all the very best. I'd love to hear how it goes for you um, because I'm really looking forward to sharing what I've discovered and what I want to be creating in the future. Um, and I hope you do too. Take care. See ya.